Rose Locke was a woman who was all over the newspapers in 1932. She was quite the local celebrity in Boston and people could not get enough of her. She even made national headlines. Why? Rose Locke was the first Chinese American female pilot in New England and the first to solo out of Boston's Logan Airport. That fact alone makes Rose a complete badass, but her story becomes even more fascinating when we consider her intersection with other famous female aviators and their impact on each other. While she was born in China in 1911, she emigrated to the United States with her family as a child and grew up in Boston's Chinatown on Tyler Street. Now, interestingly, Amelia Earhart was a social worker at Denison House in the 1920s. Denison House was a women-run settlement house in Boston's Old South Cove neighborhood, which provided social and educational services to neighborhood residents, mostly immigrants. While we cannot know if Amelia and Rose directly crossed paths, we do know that Amelia supervised the girls' program at Denison House and had quite a presence in Boston at the time. In fact, in 1927, she flew over Boston and Cambridge, dropping flyers to advertise for a Denison House fundraiser. Rose was 16 that year. By the time she was 18, she had taken up flying. With those facts on the table, it makes it hard for me to believe that Amelia could not have had big impact on Rose. We often talk today about how representation matters. Witnessing women aviators as a teen at a time when options for women were significantly limited, especially immigrant women, showed Rose that becoming a pilot was possible for her. Rose got her pilot's license in 1932. By the time she took her first solo flight on July 21st, 1932, she'd only had 12 hours of training. She trained as part of the Chinese Patriotic Flying Corps out of Boston's Logan Airport. Local Chinese merchants sponsored this group, which trained Chinese and Chinese-American pilots to defend China against Japanese aggression. Not surprisingly, she was the only female in the group, and she became incredibly popular as a result. The Associated Press interviewed her, and so did the Boston Globe several times. You can keep in mind that this was a time when the public was completely captivated with aviation and air travel. She was one of a handful of Chinese-American women across the country who earned their pilot's license in the 1930s, among them, Hazel Ying Li, Hilda Yen, Leah Hing, and Li Yaqing. After the height of her popularity, she only appeared in the newspapers a few more times. Her name appears in an article in May 1933 after she walked away unharmed from a, a plane crash, badass, and then she appeared again in the newspapers when she got married at a church in Roxbury in May 1935. She may have had a short-lived flying career. We don't really know. We do know that she had a daughter named Lorraine in decades passed before she appeared in the newspapers again. A small local newspaper in Tustin, California announced her death in 1978. No mention of her trailblazing aviation days, no mention of the badass woman that she was. There aren't many records about her. Did she become an American citizen? What did her parents think of her career choice? Did she continue flying after getting married and having a baby? What kind of life did she live in between the newspaper articles? And did she tell her daughter about the important role that she played in history? Upon her death, thankfully, she was memorialized by the 99s, an international group of women pilots. And today she is remembered on Boston Women's Heritage Trail. Women have been responsible for ensuring that someone like Rose Locke doesn't fade away into obscurity. Her story demonstrates the power of community and representation, particularly when that community is comprised of fellow trailblazing women.